So now we've got the footer in, we've got everything in place, we've shown you how to put extra pages in. There's one small thing that I wanted to show you, um, and that is how to change the background, if you wanted to change the background. Now, I quite like the grey, I think it looks really good, but there are going to be times when you want to change the colour of the background. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. It means going into uh, our editor here in appearance and we have to go into something which is the style sheets, the CSS. Now I wouldn't tell you to do this uh, unless I'm going to show you the best way of doing it. And what I want you to do, I want you to follow this procedure because if you mess this up you probably have to reinstall the whole thing. This is something which is quite advanced but I don't want you to be scared about it because it can be done and it can be done easily and it can enhance your site no end. If you don't want the grey, you want some other colour at the back end then we'll do that. But we'll have a solid colour at the back end. You want to have a gradiated grey. Um, but what I want you to do first is to uh, open up a notepad, a clean notepad because if you mess it up you ha you are going to come from a recoverable position and I want you to copy everything that's in this style sheet, this styles CSS sheet. It takes a bit of time to copy it all the way down to the bottom but I want you to copy absolutely every single piece of code in this. It's very very important. This is actually quite simple when you get into it, you know, uh, changing CSS. But if you've not done it before, it can be quite daunting. So I want you to copy all of this style sheet and I want you to paste it into your notepad. Okay, so you've got it. If you mess it up, you can just literally copy that back into here and it will go back to where it was. So let's start with this. The first thing we want to do, we we're going to change the background colour. Now, there are two parts to this, and I'll show you what I mean. Now, right at the top of this, it goes to this one which says body, and you'll see it says background colour. And this is right at the top, you notice, this is nowhere near halfway down or anything like that. This is right at the very top of it, it's got background colour. Now, you're going to need to keep this little hash sign, but you can change this. And just to give you an idea, if you type in FFF, FFF, that will give you white. If you type in 000000, that will give you black. Okay, so if we just type in FFF, FFF, and update file, and go to the site, you'll see they've still got this gradiated background, but only certain way down because what happens with this is they only gradiate the top of this so we're going to get rid of this gradiated background and we're going to have a completely white background so you can see it hasn't got the gray at the back so let's go back into here now this is where you're going to have to be very very careful because we're going to get rid of that gradient at the top so follow this carefully and watch this video a few times if you if you really need to um, so I'm just going to go down the page. You see I'm clicking on this one. I'm going to go down the page. And I'm doing it very slowly so you can see how far I'm going down. Okay, we just keep on clicking down, clicking down. We're passing a few things until we come to this where it says Art Page Background Gradient. And this is how simple it is to get rid of it. You take it from here to here. So you're encompassing this opener and this closer and we just take that and we hit the delete button we go down to update file and we go to here and now you have no gradation on the back at all you've got a completely white background now To discover what uh, colours you want at the back, you can go to uh, uh, a very, very simple uh, little site that we've, we've discovered. Um, if you just go to www.k 
comapicker.com and color spelt the American way without the U and you just choose your color you just choose your color background you can look, go for anything that you really fancy um, it shows you what the color is going to be up here and all you do is you just copy that so if you decide you want this sort of pale bluish looking color you just literally copy that go back to here go to the background again and again we go right to the top of the page and it's here and you just paste that into there update file go to the page and you've got the color of the background so you can choose any color background you want um, be careful what you do with this don't do anything really too strong um, but uh, it, it can look really really good now the last little thing that I wanted to show you, this is uh, almost finished now this video um, I just wanted to quickly show you how to put a PayPal button in and so we're going to go to the back again and we're going to come out of this uh, so we're going to go to pages we're going to go to our page here and we're just going to put a PayPal button in somewhere in here so let's put the PayPal button in here so I'm just going to type PayPal in there so I know where I'm going to put it and we go to HTML again and this is where we're going to put this uh, we're going to take that out we don't need this it's some erroneous code so you can see where we can take it out so put that down there and if we go to our codes page we just take a PayPal code and copy it and highlight over that and paste. We now have some code in there and let's go down to the bottom and we'll just show you. So I go to the update page and then we're going to show you how it looks when it's updated. And just got a few pages, and you'll notice that it's there, but it's on the side. Now we want to put it in the center. Again, very, very simple. Let's go back to our page. So if we go down here, that's where our text is. So go to the visual, and as you'll see, it is on the side. All we do is we just click on this side here go to the top of the page and hit center go back down and you can see that has actually been centered so let's just give that some space and hit update view the page go back down and there it is it's there and if you click on that it will take you through to PayPal very very simple so I hope you've enjoyed the video sections we've done there it is it's PayPal so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, of how this is all put together any questions you can email us you've got uh, contact details on the site so until next time until we bring out something else which we can give away for free then uh, thank you um, give us some feedback put uh, you know give us some feedback on the site tell us how you want it uh, if you want any other bits and pieces but you can see that you can you can create a fantastic little um, page using this theme so go ahead and uh, we'll see you later